Station. We're hooked up. We're hooked up and we're ready to go. So what did you think about this spot? I really, really hope we get to come back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yes, and I want our spot. <laughs> and if we don't get them, I'm gonna pout. Yeah. No, I won't, because every spot in here is beautiful. I just want to be able to be here. You guys, it's just... It's pretty cool. You know, not everybody loves the desert, and I get it, but here, it's so green. Yeah. There's so much greenery. So I did my walk around on the Can-Am this morning and found that the snorkel for the belt housing was missing. We must have lost it on the ride yesterday somewhere. Well, so that sounds Now not I good. get to uh, order another one and I just, our friend is in, we meet some friends in Parker and they're checking for me there. Oh, nice. And uh, they ordered one. Oh. Be here in one to five days. Oh, they're so sweet. So Thank you guys. It's a good thing. Um, so what does that do? It keeps dust and water and dirt and stuff out of the belt housing and the clutch. Ooh, yeah. that's important. It is. So, Bummer. anyway. Things happen. Stuff happens. Yeah. I'm hungry. I know, I didn't make anything. I do have protein shakes. Oh boy. And, and uh. Oh boy. <laughs> granola bars. Alrighty, should we go slow? Start out slow. Oh, oh. I heard a horn. I think that's a yeah, go. Goodbye, Boondock. I know. It was a nice place. It really was. We'll be back, though. Sure enjoyed our stay. It was very peaceful. Yes. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. It was fun being with Randy and Bobby, too. It was. It was, yeah, we, it was nice being with friends. We enjoyed boondocking with friends. Mm -hmm. And now we're headed to see Pat and Stacy. Yay! They're already in Parker. We got there this morning. Oh, they're already there. They're already there. He wow. ordered my part for me in Parker. Wow. Stacy was right on top of it. She said she wanted to get there early. Yeah, she got there early. So now we got to go dump and fill up with water and get propane. That'd be nice. Start all over again. Start all over again. We still haven't heard anything from the race director, though, or the company oh. that's running the so-called security. So, I don't know. Well, I hope that turns out the way we want it to turn out. Yeah. Be interesting. Kind of a washboardy road. Yeah. Well. But if we take it slow, I'm doing five. <laughs> we'll get out there sometime today. It's used a lot, though. Yeah, and it's actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. It's just right in the middle. It seems like it's right in the middle. Turn right on Arizona 74. All right, we're going to take 74 over into Wickenburg, or over to 60, and then north on 60 into Wickenburg. And then we're going to go west on 60 down to Parker. And uh, Pat and Stacy were there this morning. They said there's a brand new 
dump station water fill in Parker on the south end of town. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. So we can dump when we leave. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna dump now. We can dump when we come back. And get water. Turn right on Arizona 74. Well, no such luck. I don't see my snorkel. I'm sorry. It could be anywhere. <laughs> yes, it could. All right. Are we turning right? We're turning right. We're taking both lanes. Okay. You're clear after this. Still good? Yep. Nobody's coming. All right. Okay. Down the road we go. Hi ho, hi ho. I'm excited. I am too. More boondock. Yeah, and we get Pat and Stacy will be there, so all three of us couples will be together yeah. traveling, and I love traveling with our friends. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, it's supposed to be 70 degrees plus. I know, I even brought my shorts. but Wickenburg is prettier. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is scrub brush out here <laughs> compared to Wickenburg. So for those of you that travel through this area in Boondock, our friends talked to us this morning and said that Parker put in a, an RV dump and fresh water fill Okay, so as we pull into Parker, it's supposed to be up here on the right, about three quarters of a mile. How nice is it that this station has everything for boondockers? Yeah. And I, I, I'm just elated by that. That's so cool. All right, half a mile. These roads. Yeah. Parker, Arizona. Three tents. It's up here on the right. This is where we come when we are at port site for a while. They have Walmart here. So we always come here and get our provisions that we need. There we go. Boondocking. Oh, boondocks. In 400 feet, arrive at 1721 RV South California Avenue on the nice. right. Propane, water, ice, dump station, hydro jet, tank cleaning. <gasps> this is cool. I can get ice. Well, I'm not sure. It says the entrance right here. Hmm. 
I see what you're saying. Where do you go? He's kind of in the way. Well, here comes a gal. Well, hello there. Dump water and propane. Okay, awesome. You can go into a port. Either one? Yes. Fresh water. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Okay, here are the prices. Just pull in here. All right, I'm going to let you get out like and tell me when station. to stop. Okay. great setup you guys have here oh my gosh this is so cool well thanks it's good to be here Score. oh my gosh Parker has needed something for years this is this is awesome I know it sound it may sound funny to some of you that we get so excited about this but well if you boondock like we do you know why we're excited yeah because we have to look and look and look and hunt. And they just come with a little cart, pick up your propane tanks and go fill them for you. It's pretty Never cool. Afraid. Yeah. Awesome. It's nice to feel loved. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciated, you know, when, when you find places like this that take care of you. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And they can fit any size rig. I, yeah. Yep. Yep. And we're big. We're both big. Shea Road. Oh my gosh, if you guys take, if you got, if you come out here, it is a potholy mess. Oh yeah. Especially in the beginning. Yeah. This isn't so bad out here. But I'm still only doing nine miles an hour. And we got 4.6 miles to go. Yeah. Just kick back and relax because it's going to be a ride. But that was fun meeting some subscribers, wasn't it? It was. It's so funny. You're so sweet. We run into you guys all over the country. Yeah. And it is so much fun. Yes. And if you have any doubt of coming up and saying hi, please do. Yeah. We love it. Yeah, we really do. It's it was cool. Yeah. We enjoy talking it's to you, swapping cool. stories. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow, look at all this. Those look like a wee ride over there. <laughs> so here we are 
we dumped our black, dumped our gray, filled with fresh, filled our propane. Yay! Filled with gas. I got ice. Got you got ice, a bag of ice. Of, yeah, 10 pounds of ice. And so I think we're ready for another week and a half or so. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, let's face it, it's Parker and Walmart hat. There's Walmart and Parker. So if we need anything, we can always go there. Yeah. Oh. It's coming to a stop. It well, must be. Because he's got some big chunks out of the asphalt. Oh. Big chunks out yes. of the asphalt. So if you're big like us, then you just need to take it slow and you'll be fine. Well, look at... Oh. <laughs> that would eat our car. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That yep. Would, this is a tough road. Would, this is a tough road. Our car wouldn't make it very well. <laughs> oh, look. The dog's Oh, my gosh. He's so happy. Seat. He's so cute. <laughs> Oh, now he's serpentine all around the road. Yeah, he asked me if we wanted to race down Shea Road. I said no. Uh, no. Because I remember what it was like. Okay, so 10 days in Parker. We're going to go set up. I'm happy. I'm excited to see Pat and Stacy. It's going to take us half an hour to get there, I think. But <laughs> That's okay. Let's see if I can do this. Can I do this? Oh, oh. I hope so. Nope. There you go. Look at that. You're so good. <laughs> I've been dodging potholes for the last six years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sometimes we're not so successful. <laughs> this isn't bad. Oh, oh, that one hurt. Wi-Fi disabled. <laughs> oh, Wi-Fi disabled. I knocked it out of Wi-Fi. Okay, we'll be there shortly. What do you think of this area? This is pretty cool. <laughs> That's all you got to say? It it's is. Pretty cool. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the desert, huh? It, well, it's, yeah, it's a desert, but there's mountains everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Love them. So we pulled in and we had a few days until we had to, uh, until we got a hold of the guy uh, from Legacy Racing. And so we boondocked with our friends. Yep. And, um, Pat and I, well, Pat, Pat put together a replacement snorkel for our machine. He's amazing, <laughs> but that's what he did. He's, he's a fabricator. He's a fabricator, and he he saved our bacon. He did. He did a really yeah. good job. Uh, I had, uh, I'll show you, you know, here's here's a picture of, of what we fabbed out, and it worked awesome. We've been on two rides. Three rides. Three rides, and... It's still there. Yeah. But the writing out here is different. This is, it is wash. Boy, yesterday we just, we hit everything that you could hit. I mean, different scenarios and rocks and just like, almost like a highway, a rock highway. And yeah. it was, it was a lot of fun. It was interesting. So we've got some really interesting stuff to show you on some rides around the area. But we have moved from the gravel pit where you saw us. We are now sitting at mile 10 of the race course. That's right. 
So we're no longer at the gravel pit. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, oops, oops, oh oops, my oops. gosh. So we showed up midweek. I almost recorded this at 1.30 in the morning when I was still awake. Yeah, we showed up midweek. <laughs> And it was a long holiday weekend. Yeah, it was a Friday night. And I don't know where they came from. We're guessing they came I'm from. I'm going to tell you, it's California. <laughs> Nothing against California, but their license plates are California. <laughs> okay. So it's okay. They had a huge Class A that parked out there, and they came out to they came out to play in the dirt just like us. Yeah, they have, have every fun right to play and dirt. Turn them, yeah. turn them, you know, listen to the music and everything. Except the music sounded like it was at a, I don't know, Bon Jovi concert or something. <laughs> And it wasn't Bon Jovi music. No. It, it was, was rap. Well, and I really felt bad because they had kids and the stuff that was anyway. Was so they good, turned it on and we thought, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess they're having yeah. fun. And yeah. there was a bunch of people with them and they're out having a good time. And everybody deserves to have a good time. Absolutely. But then it got dark and we're sitting around the fire. And then it got to be about 10 o'clock and we're ready to call it a night at the fire. And then we go inside. <laughs> And it went on until you said 2.30 in the morning. Well, I, w I woke up at 1.30. It was still going. And we're, it's vibrating us. <laughs> and we're not that far. We're far from them. And uh, then I woke up again at 2.30 and it was, it was quiet. So I really wanted to go over there with a the big pan and go, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I didn't. I wouldn't do that. So, I mean... You run into all kinds when you're out camping, boondocking, whatever. But... And it's not because we're old. No, is I mean, it? no, I, 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 mean, I don't mind just... the music as long as it's, I mean, if I can hear the music, that's fine. But yeah. it was like a concert type oh, music. Oh, it was ridiculous. They could hear it two miles down the road. It was so loud. Well, we took a walk up the hill and it was louder up there oh than it gosh. was. Anyway. It, it was, yeah, it was a bit much. So now that we've whined about our neighbors, <laughs> but anyway, it's so. Just... So the race contractor got a hold of us the next day and said, hey, this is where you're going to be. This is what we want you to do. This is what your, our plan is. And we said, cool. I said, so can we move down there now? And he goes, absolutely, whenever you're ready. I've never seen three rigs pack up so fast as we did that day. It was like, sweet. Uh, we, oh, you're so, we, so excited. We packed up and we moved down the road and we are now um, in our spot for the race. Yes. And it's amazing. So I don't know if you can see yeah. behind us here, but this is really cool because yeah. we're up on kind of a little ledge bluff and the race course is literally right there. Right there. And they're going to, so we're, we've been told that the average speed on the Legacy 400 was 68 miles an hour. Average speed. So we're hoping to see a whole bunch of... 100 mile an hour. <laughs> <states>. <laughs> we rode it the other day and we hit over 60. I, yeah. I, I, there was too much dust in front of me, so I couldn't really speed yeah. it up. But Mark was... said he was up to 70. And we were... And I have no idea where Pat was. All I know is Pat said his foot was to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. Oh my gosh. It's so smooth. Out yeah. There. Yeah. It was pretty cool. So anyway, we're here and Yay. we are in charge of directing vehicles to stay out of the race course area. Security. Security. Yep. And, and, <laughs> we're security. And it's pretty cool. Uh, people are very understanding. We've already, we started this morning and we're going to give you a whole spiel on that next week because yeah. I want to get I want to get footage of the race. I want to get footage of the racers. I want to get footage of, of the, the cars downtown. Yeah. I, I just there's a lot anyway. to there's a lot out here. There's it's really cool, and we've never done anything like this, so this is all new to us for you guys that been there, you know, done that. Yeah, you know, you can if, if yeah, see if you tell us if you loved it or not. Yeah, it's for you guys that do dirt racing a lot and go watch and stuff then. You probably know everything we're talking about, and you're just kind of sitting there chuckling. But yeah. this, for us, we're like a couple of new kids, you know, at the first day of school or something. What did that guy say? It doesn't take much to impress us. <laughs> <laughs> we had a comment. <laughs> so anyway, we're here in the desert, at, just outside of Parker, Arizona, and we're having a blast. And we've got a lot more to share for you, uh, yeah. with you. And yeah, I'm even going to tell you about some issues we were having. With our oh my god with our boondock, but anyway yeah we're gonna save all that so you got to come back all right please come back we're having a good time.
We were having a great time. We the have weather, great people with us. The them. weather's been mid 70s to 80. Yeah. The whole time we've been here. Oh, I know. It's just today the wind decided to kick up. Yeah. It, it feels good. But it's pretty nice. Yeah. And we're having a lot of fun. We are. All right. Should we wrap this one up? Okay. Let's do it. So from Parker, Arizona. It all starts with an idea. Turn those ideas into reality and go out and make some memories. Like I say, this is a bunch, this is our year of firsts. Yes. And this is a first for us and we're yeah. having a blast, guys. Cool. We can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> My cheeks hurt. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you next week. Have a great day, guys. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.